Here, a feast, Captain. And you, the other one, you have a feast, too. Go on, Captain, recount your adventures. A little entertainment, Captain. This man who has been thrown into jail for not paying his debts. His name is Francisco Pizarro, and he has an interesting story to tell. They say he was the son of a Spanish officer and a lady of easy virtue, and then worthy of any good novel, as a newborn baby, he was found on the church steps. We know with certainty he was a pig swiller, a farmhand, and a soldier. One day he would leave to conquer the lands of his dreams. He would serve many captains, including Ponce de Leon, and once when he was in great danger, Balboa himself saved him. But nevertheless, he betrayed Balboa, offering him up to the executioner, when ordered to do so by the governor. One day, it was in Panama, a stranger, Pascal Andragoya, who had returned from the south, told him a story that was to shape Pizarro's destiny. For hundreds of leagues stands an empire fabulously rich, and all the Indians are friendly, covered with gold and jewels, houses covered with gold, gold! And I will supply funds for your expedition. 20,000 pesos and gold bars. Uh-huh. Ah. Yeah. We shall swear a pact, a solemn pact. Pizarro, Amalgro, you shall swear on the Holy Bible. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. they sailed with no further ado. Now, as for their return, it was somewhat less auspicious. Now then, we mustn't lose all hope. I shall state our case personally when we see Governor Pedrarius. If that fool Pizarro wants to depart, then let him. In six months, whether in Peru or not, I order you to be back in Panama. So be it. Might be needing him. He'll be our interpreter. And here our unfortunate expedition ran aground on the Ile du Coq. They await reinforcements. When is that wretched Almagro going to show up with his troops? Are we going to spend the rest of our days here? I spy a ship! Six months have gone by. Following the governor's orders, we return to Panama, and at once. Even if I must be alone, here I will remain. North of this line, poverty and misery await you. To the south, there is danger, famine. We might be killed, but we might be rich. Riches await every one of us. Who goes with me to conquer gold? Um, 
about a dozen men crossed the line. Seven months later, with Almagro's reinforcements, which finally arrived, Pizarro takes to the sea again. After sailing for 20 days, here he is in sight of the city of Tumbez. <laughs> Molina, take some men and reconnoiter the city for us. Take a good look, then report back to me. Mm. Aye, aye, sir. Well, tell me, what's the city like? Their Princess Capilana served us on golden plates and gold goblets as well. Her robes were of gold. Yes, go on. Well, they're all nice, but the women are extraordinarily beautiful. If you'll allow, Captain, I'll stay here and convert the natives. Wait. Send Pedro de Candia ashore to gather more information for me. Aye, aye, sir. All the walls of their temples are covered with gold. They're massive statues of animals in gold. Statues in gold, animals in gold. Don't stop there. You won't believe the animals I saw. They were strange. Spitting cows. Ah, yes, but their fortress is strong. Yes, three massive concentric walls, all strongly guarded, impenetrable. I will beat them. I will beat them. Get up, Captain. You're wanted, and by who, you'll never guess. Clean yourself up. <laughs> In the city of Tumbez, there's gold and riches beyond dreams, Your Majesty. Toledo. Charles V, his power at its highest. Cortez brings back three tons of gold every year. Francois Premier, he beat at Pavia. His troops have just sacked Rome. And the Pope is waiting to uh, crown him emperor. Suddenly, Pizarro's story interests him. There are a great many souls to convert to our religion, Your Majesty. The governor of Panama failed to grasp the importance of this land. So I came to see you, Your Majesty. You have done well, Pizarro, quite well. Now tell me, what was your journey like? Easy, a pleasure cruise. I assure you, Your Majesty. Very well. Very well, Bizarro. Go back and conquer it for us. At your orders, Majesty. I will leave as soon as I can. You shall have 200 soldiers and 30 horsemen. Almagro will become governor of Tumbez, and Padre de Lugue shall be the bishop. As for you, I appoint you captain governor of Peru, knight of Santiago, and the Marquis. Meanwhile, far away in Peru... It's good to get home again. Yes, especially after losing a war. Our Lord Huascan is being held prisoner at Cusco. I wonder what's going to happen now. Who knows? Well, we had fun all the same, didn't we? I wonder what our planting grounds look like. We've been gone so long. Hello. Hello. village and lands. Yes, they'll need lots of work. Daddy! Daddy! Pierrot, my little one, how's Daddy's big boy? Five years old and nearly a man. We'll call you Pedriti and we'll carefully keep some of your hair and your nails. Hmm? They're an extension of yourself. No evil spirit can use them against you. And 
if you are this beautiful when you're 12 years old, maybe you will be chosen to pay homage to Wallabo, the god of fertility, and be thrown into the abyss. It's an honor performed in a beautiful ceremony. You might go as one of the 5,000 concubines of the Incas. Or you could be a, a sun virgin. No, she won't. I want her to stay here with me. I intend to be a warrior, a great warrior, and the Incas will give her to me. A bit later, when you two are married, you'll get a house, and I will tie a knot in my kipu. Oh, yes, you'll have a planting field, and that's another knot, and you'll have two llamas as well, two knots, and about here I'll keep for your children. One <laughs> knot for each one. All those knots are complicated. I mean, there are so many. Ever get mixed up? Well, I'd better not. No, it's my head otherwise. Oh. The order has to prevail to govern well. When I think of all the delicious meat that's in there... The Incas are stocking up for the lean years ahead, and uh, I think it's a wise thing to do. Well, what's this? You tired? Mm, careful now, don't load him with more than 30 kilograms. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's very busy today. They sent thing up all right. Yeah, our message service has never been so busy. Oh, yes, and what is up is that Pizarro has just landed at Tumbes that the Inca communication system is the finest anywhere in the world. It is this, Tumbes, the city where I am to be governor. And I, Bishop, and after all the money I've spent, our oh, Lord. Silence! How was I supposed to know what's going on in this place? An explanation. Hey, Filipino, what's going on? In a nutshell, the great Inca Lord Huayna Capac died right after you passed through last time, and his sons waged war in all directions. Go on. Well? Then, one of the two brothers, Huascar, lost and is a prisoner. At the Huelpa, the winner massacred the lot, even his sister Konig. Zip! It's pretty bloody, huh? Anyway, in your armor to them, you look like... In fact, you are Viracocha, the Thunder God. <laughs> hey! My horse! <laughs> you look like you're really Stop alive. laughing! Yeah, really Stop fine. it! <laughs> Me, Miracocha, me big thunder god. You see, Padre, a lot of conversions to do here. Now listen to me, Diego. Once we've set things up around here, you'll go south to Chile. Believe me, there's gold in the streets down there in Chile, and it's all yours. But for now, all my blood brothers, Hernando, Juan, Gonzalez, Padre Valverde de Soto, follow me. We go forward. No. Marca isn't far now. Atahualpa is waiting for us. You'll see him tomorrow. We'll make him come. Mm -hmm. Our 
mighty, valiant, and brave Governor Pizarro has sent me to ask the Lord Atahualpa if it's his pleasure to dine with him tomorrow. Hmm? my people and have pillaged my storerooms. Tell me why. But we were responsible for building them. With the labor of my people, yes. Give back the goods. Take them away. What will you do to those men? I shall kill them. They showed no dignity in their rank. Mm -hmm. Go tell your master we will meet him tomorrow in this place. There are 40,000 of them, and we are only 170. What can we do? Pray. All officers, come. Fernando, Juan, Gonzalez. De Soto, Pedro Candia, Belacazar, Padre. Now, this is what we'll do. They're still not moving. It looks like we're surrounded. Aye, aye, aye. What are they planning to do? Hey, look at that! Mother Church reigns over the universe. Its vicar, our Holy Father the Pope, has given the King of Spain dominion over these lands, and you must be a friend to our sovereign King of Spain and submit to his will. Is it not astonishing that your Pope can give away what is not his? Where is the proof of what you say? I say all this means nothing. Sacrilege! Sancho! I want this one alive. 2,000 Incas killed on the spot and not one Spaniard wounded. One of those strange quirks of history with a handful of soldiers, Pizarro, who put an end to the powerful empire of the Incas. Uh, there would still be incidents, but the die was cast. No, oh. uh, this is a nice article. <laughs> In the harem of the Aztec prisoners, Filipillo lost his heart to a very beautiful slave. And so he concocted a plan to do away with Atahualpa. Yes, it's true. You can't believe us. I heard it all. You had your brother Huascar killed, and you're plotting against me now. I am not plotting. A stupid idea. With the hoard of gold I have, how much to buy my freedom? Perhaps up to my hand? Would that buy it? Up here, then. <coughs> no.
Now have I bought my liberty. Worship of idols, adultery, incest, murder of brothers, and attempted rebellion. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. The sentence is death by Garrett, and then burnt up. <laughs> burnt, then I will never see my ancestors again. Why will you not convert to our holy faith? Then will you still burn my body? No. Then I'll be happy to do what you say. It was a strange conversion, all right. Judgment, verdict, baptism, execution, all in one day. Haste with no good reason. I have combed the land and found no sign of uprising or rebellion, as he describes. You can't kill him. You have no right to kill him. He was a most noble ruler, and he gave you all that gold. All these marvelous treasures, these superb objects, all melted into bars. Psst, your share against mine, right? We will name as Inca ruler his brother Manco Capac to keep them quiet. Almagro and I will return to the coast. Right, right, I remember, Francisco, you, you Fernando, said. you'll really be in command. Manco Capac, we name you Lord Inca. You will take the place of your brother Atahualpa. And my brother Hernando will be here to help. In our regions to the south are many riches and much gold, which you seem so interested in. If you wish, my brother Paulu can guide you. to get rid of the greater part of the Spanish troops and raised 400,000 men for the siege of Cusco. Forward! Cusco. They're as thick as flies. We'll never beat that crowd. Look, there are men. It's them. It was Almagro's army returning to attack them and to take the city. Almagro was to lose the fratricidal battle of Las Salinas. Mm -hmm. Aha! We've always been friends, your brother and I. Put me in prison for the little time I have left. No, I won't. Almagro was strangled while in prison three months later in the city of Lima, where Francisco Pizarro lived in a palace. Quick! son had time to capture and hang Filipillo before being taken and degorged himself. That same year, Padre Valverde would be killed by Indians. Their adventure, in spite of everything, is surely going to remain one of the most extraordinary lived by mere mortals. Can 